happy day to y'all. Good morning, afternoon, wherever you're at. So I'm going to have a quick, about 15 minute get ready with me. So for those like me who are on the go, this video is for you. I have a blue head wrap I'm going to be putting on, but this is just what I'm going to use while I'm having um, my get ready. So I don't get anything on that. This is black, so it's okay if I get a little makeup on there. I'm having some tea. Comment if you are a coffee or tea drinker. I'm both. Lemon ginger honey tea with the cinnamon stick. I like to set my morning off right. Today it's tea. I do both, coffee and tea. So the first thing I'm going to start with is I'm going to start with my eyes. So since I'm wearing blue today, this color blue, I'm going to go ahead and oh, my exotic flavors. I absolutely love these colors. They're so vibrant. And we are going to start with just this light cream. I'm going to put this right below. My eyebrow. If you see that smoke, <laughs> know that it's just my incense going. I got some incense and tea. So you might see steam or smoke. It's just my incense. All right. I wanted to talk about a few things today. And the first thing is my coverage of true crime and I have decided to at least cover one case and I will be covering that case next week I will cover it next week now it may not reach you all until um, the weekend because I have training all next week and my schedule is pretty booked so the extra time I have I want to spend it with my family but it will be coming, so be on the lookout. If you're not subscribed, please subscribe. What are you waiting for? Uh, we have a good time here, and I always end with words of encouragement, and I don't want you to miss any uploads. So Go ahead and hit that bell button so you get the notifications each time I have a new upload, because when I hit 100 subscribers, I will be um, doing a live with you all, and... Comment if you're interested in that or if you would rather me do another guest feature. What plans do you all have this weekend? Brilliant color to put on the corners and make everything pop. So I'm going to put this in the corner and work my way up. Over here, put this deep blue. So I like to do my corners with those darker colors. And I mix colors sometimes. So if I'm doing blue, I like to do multiple shades of blue. If I'm doing green, but sometimes I do other complementing colors like orange. I'll do uh, orange and then I'll do for my dark tones some brown some some chocolate tones because those orange and brown really look good together sometimes I'm, I'm doing green I'll do green and blue together and sometimes I co color coordinate with my outfits so that's how I decide but that's probably one of the funnest parts for me is deciding what it is that I'm going to do so I'm going to move on to my eyebrows. I'm using this Anastasia Beverly Hills Dark Brown. And I you want to use a slanted brush with a spoolie. So the other thing I want to talk about is let's talk about self-esteem and confidence. You know, I don't know about y'all. Um, at this point in my life, I'm extremely confident, but I'm confident in who I am, what I have to offer, and I love me. I love me. And um, my spouse is always saying, 
to me, like, I just, that's one of the things that drew me to you was your confidence. I'm extremely confident, but it wasn't always that way. I'm an introvert. Um, I, I can be extroverted, but I'm more so an introvert. And when I was growing up, I never was one to... have lots going on want to be doing a lot of different things with a lot of different people and just um sometimes it's exhausting being around people but i love it so I have always loved helping people um but sometimes it's exhausting when you're around people especially like in your work life and you have to be around people a lot with my job, I collaborate with my colleagues, which is great. But then I also work a lot independently, and that's a great mixture for me. If I would have known when I was younger the person I would become, I would be surprised and proud of myself because I kept to myself a lot, and I have a lot of fear of a lot of different things. And I was afraid to venture out of my comfort zone. I don't know if anybody else is like that, like me, but part of that, I realized in time, me not wanting to venture out of my comfort zone really came from me being fearful, fearful of failure, <laughs> failing. We don't want to put ourselves out there because we don't want to fail. So I'm just putting some concealer under my eye. But back to confidence, self-esteem. When I was younger, I was always wondering, like not wanting to, wanting to stay in the background and not wanting to call attention to myself. And it's a thing that continued on. I remember having so much anxiety in school. I didn't know that that's what it was called when I was younger, but I had so much anxiety in school about, you know, when you're in school and the teacher does that whole thing, and I don't know if they teachers still do it nowadays, but it used to be where you would read a book together or read your textbooks, and I know that there's a lot of times there's no textbooks anymore sometimes in schools, um, but we would have our textbook and or a book we were reading, maybe in English, and we would take t turns reading. I love to read. I have a passion for reading. It actually came from my sister. I, she would have all these books that she would bring home from middle school. And I wanted to be, whatever she did, I thought it was the coolest thing. And I just wanted to be like my big sister. And so I, when I see whatever she was reading, I would ask to borrow. So she would um, have Babysitter's Club. I remember was one of the first books I borrowed from her. And I just got involved in that entire series. I just loved reading and I would sit in my room and read and read and read. So it's just something that's always been a love of mine, a passion of mine. However, I did not love to be call called out in class to read. I was always anxious about losing my position, like where we were at. I love to read. And so sometimes I would just, I, I couldn't stay with the rest of the class. I wanted to know what happens next. I was, I'm a speed reader, so I would just read fast forward and it caused me anxiety because sometimes I could not stop myself when I was in middle school and sometimes in grade school from reading ahead and wanting to find out what happens in the story or if it was a history class, reading ahead to figure out what happens if we're talking about a war or something. And anyway, it just was so triggering. I remember trying to get out of the class and let, let me go to the bathroom during this period because I didn't want to be called out. I, I hated that feeling of, I hated it for other people who would get embarrassed when they didn't know where we were at and the teacher would have to tell them and, um, you know, everybody's looking at you. And it just really bothered me. And I think that that might be when it started where I just kind of was sitting in the background and just going with the flow and trying to not be noticed, trying to, to not be, be noticed at all. And... For those who know me in person, you'll know this to be true. Um, so anyway, when I speak about that, 
I didn't always have the confidence I have now, and but I have, over time, I've developed it. But one thing that didn't go away is the fear of failure. And so, and second guessing yourself. And so that's why it took me so long to start this channel. When my sister passed, I decided that I was not, life is not guaranteed and we don't know how long we have. I needed to go for it. Um, and I really wasn't going to, but I kept getting encouraged from uh, several people to, to share my story. And that's how this page came about. Now I'm gonna put on some magnetic liner because I use magnetic lashes. I find they work better for me than just the traditional like gluing it on. And I find with the magnetic lashes, it's just works better for me. So do what works for you, but I use magnetic lashes. So I wanna leave you with three things based on talking about confidence and self-esteem. The first thing is I want you to realize that your the way you may feel has no bearing on your value. You have an immense amount of value just by being who you are. It has nothing to do with our, your external work, who you are to maybe your family. That's important, but sometimes we attach our self-worth to other things instead of just realizing we're worthy. So I want you to first realize that you're worthy. Secondly, I want you to move from comfort to change. And sometimes we don't wanna step out of our box because it's comfortable. We feel very comfortable, we like it. We know what to expect and we don't have to worry so much about the unknowns. But I want to challenge you to move from a place of comfort to action. And third, thirdly, when it comes to self-esteem, I don't think that everybody's necessarily born with that but I believe that you can play a huge part in boosting your own self-confidence by shutting out any naysayers. And that's my last kind of little bit of advice is to shut off the naysayers. And sometimes our, our lack of confidence has to do with people who don't believe in us, who tear down our ideas. Um, and I don't have that in my life right now. Thank goodness, I have very supportive people in my life. But there were times where I did not. There were times that in order to have certain friendships and to be in with a popular crowd that I accepted treatment when I was, this is when I was way younger, that I had no business ever accepting. Um, and so I want you to shut out those naysayers and the people who don't believe in you, those aren't your people and let that drive you into your purpose, into your passion and doing what, what, what you would like to do. And I think confidence will come with pushing yourself out of your comfort zone. So I'm trying something new. I ordered, I told you all, I ordered the water activated liner. I tried out orange the other day. I don't know how I felt about that one, but I'm gonna try out blue. And so far I'm liking the blue much better than I like that orange. And maybe it was just me needing to get used to applying it, but. thought I would say that. That never would have happened if I didn't intentionally put myself in places that made me uncomfortable. Um, you got to make yourself uncomfortable to see on the other side. Maybe on the other side you'll find some joy or that's a path you need to take to get to where you want to go. 
The last thing I wanted to share was about the IUI. We are, I am going to be posting a fourth part and that'll probably be in the next two weeks and it's just to wrap up what happened after we found out we were pregnant so if you haven't checked that out it's a three-part series check it out ahead of time that way when the fourth drops you're ready to go and you're caught up with everybody and you can jump right in i've had several people reach out to me um individually and really tell me how much they love to see that and that they like was stalking my page to see that journey so um part four is coming i'm gonna ask you today if, and I do like this blue liner. I want to ask you today, if no one's asked you, how are you doing in your grief today? And how are you doing in your loss if you've lost someone? Take a moment to sit in that and think how you're doing. And I want you to feel your feelings. I want to challenge you to feel your feelings today. Whether you want to cry and scream, do that. I've done it. And it made me feel better. Um... First, though, it made me feel silly, and that's okay, but it made me, it released what was inside of me because I have love to give and nowhere to put that. That love for my mom who passed away uh, 10 plus years ago, then my sister who just passed away um, just a few months ago. There's so many unspoken words, I feel like, especially with my sister, and it was sudden. With my mom, I was able to really had those hard conversations with her before she passed. She had cancer and I was a major caretaker for her. My sister, there was so much that was unsaid, but there was so much love and there was so much that we planned to do. And that part is hard. So sometimes I just need to get that out, that love. And um, sometimes it's pouring it into these videos. So be kind to yourself today. I'm gonna pop on some magnetic lashes and um, then I'll close out. Hi friends, I'm back. So I uh, put my little cover up, my blue dress, and I did put some liner on my lips. I like to add just a little chapstick or lip balm or something um, because I hate not having moisturized lips. I like my lips to be nice and moisturized. So I've lined my lips. Just added my plum roll, Maybelline 411 lipstick oops <laughs> right here and then i for my liner i am using a gel lip liner it's wet and wild gone burgundy so i like to have a slightly darker um outline of the lip or get as close to a, a color of my lipstick as possible and i did um add some black eyeliner because I found that that kind of creates a barrier. This is, uh, this blue, um, eyeliner is from this. This is the brand and it is water activated liner. So I've used the orange and I didn't know if I really liked that. I wasn't sold on it. Um, but I did not put a liner on first and I also didn't earlier, but I had an idea when I paused the video, took care of some business and came back that let me go ahead and put the black on first and then add the blue. And that really worked. Let me know what y'all think. Do you like this look? I absolutely love it, actually. I've had some time to work with it and it takes a little getting used to. I got two of these. Or I think it might have been $12.99 or something like that. Um, I got a good deal on Amazon. They help sell them singly, uh, but if you just pay a couple dollars more, I got two. So that's what I got. And um, you really need to get it wet on the brush. And you really need to get get it wet and get enough product. Because I mine kept breaking and having spaces without the blue. And so if you choose to buy that product, that will assist you probably in getting that line that you want. 
but I really like it. It stands out and I think it gives a perfect uh, compliment and accent to my eyes and the outfit that I'm wearing. So I just wanted to show my final look. Um, I love this, this little wrap. It's very comfortable. I, and I like to be able to dress up my look for uh, my professional life. So hang in there, y'all, if you're struggling. But if it's a great day, I am so happy for you. And just know, in the background, if things are not going your way, have faith that in the background, although it might be a rough time, things in the background are working out in your favor. Things that you're not aware of are working out in your favor. I truly believe that. I just came off of a hard season and all of a sudden everything started working in my favor in, in all aspects of my life. My personal life, my professional life, my relationships, it just... Things with my son, just everything was going great. So I want to leave you with that positive outlook to get your weekend started. Till next time.